I should build a navy though. Because I really don't think real world concepts work in this game, even though they're supposed to. Oh wow. The Austrians actually conceded. Oh man. Oh man. The Austrians are falling apart. They need to get some balls. And uh, stand up to some of those powers. They're getting chewed up. It's crazy. So. I can't colonize down here. And now I'm losing money. See, you can't play with the sliders too much. Otherwise, crap like this happens. Where you gotta lower it and raise it. You wanna make sure these uh, are green. Of course, you're gonna have your red where, you know, these people are desperate. But if you can keep them something like that, you're generally in the clear. And you won't have too many problems. Wow, my militancy is really going up for no reason. Why? Why are you people pissed? Those voters' rights, man. <laughs> are we still a, um... Yeah, we're still a Prussian constitutionalism. I forget when that changed. Maybe it changes on Universal. I thought it changed on, like, Weighted Universal. Maybe you have to have some other stuff here, like free press and stuff. I like how no one wants... No one wants free press. State press only. Trade unions. No one gives two fucks about trade unions. They do care about uh, the political parties. Harassment and gerrymandering and the secret ballots. Crazy. I still have to uh, eventually do one of these... Well, my average consciousness has to be four. Is this going up? It's actually going down. Well, if I could get to four consciousness, I can do the intelligentsia. What is this? Corporative industrialism. What's this gain me? Five commerce and industry, tycoon capitalism and business schools. This is the one that uh, the United States has: tycoon capitalism and business schools. The British have sea power and the merchant marine, of course. The French have uh, the advancement of intelligence. I don't think Russia has one. I think uh, if they go to the Soviet Union, they get a uh, corporative industrialism, which they get commerce and industry tech. A lot of people have the uh, military industrial complex. And this one, simply because this one's really easy. So let's continue down the uh, this path. I think I'll just go straight across the line and gain all these. Oh man. So here we are, the Empire. Finally united and formed in our little part of the world. Let's, what it, let's see what it looks like in real life. There we go. It's very green, actually. Apart from the arid regions of the Middle East here. So. There's actually not too much... Uh, there's a little bit of um, militancy up here. I could fix that. They will. They really want Afghanistan to be a core. And uh, as long as my country exists, that's not happening. Hmm. Sheik Thai faction, Somali. It's a slave state. So let's see what's going on around the world. Shogunate Japan is in the sphere of the United States. Look, Hawaii still exists as a partially westernized nation. I believe I read somewhere is that um, Hawaii's um, their um, 
their royal palace or whatever you want to call it, their monarchal palace on Oahu. Actually had lighting, had electricity before the White House did. Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, look at that. Britain controls Alaska. That's crazy. <laughs> they also control British Washington and Columbia. Even more crazy. Uh oh. Problems. Where is this um, deficit coming from? Spend military spending, maybe? I gotta have military spending? I'll drop down to the 12th. Or maybe I dropped, moved up to the 12th. I don't, I don't know. I might have been at the 13th. How are things in Europe looking? They're not looking too good for some of these guys. This war ended? No, they're still at war with the Chinese. They really want Hong Kong, but they can't get over there. Is the problem. <laughs> That's exactly what the problem is, is that no one can get over here and fight the Chinese. They're just too far away for England. England doesn't have the ridiculous naval strength that it should have. Oh, Burma's not... Whoa, what just happened? Oh, the British won. Liberty... Land, Liberty, Labor. Cool, cool. The Treaty of Nanking. Cool, I guess. So that's it. The war's over between China. Did Russia just do that? Their beliefs must be respected. Did Russia just annex that part? Was I not paying attention? And did they have, like... Did China own all that? Because China's name got smaller, and I, I wouldn't think it was just because of this. So I'm thinking Russia just took over all of Chinese Manchuria. Well, not all of it, but a large portion of it. And I have level this stuff. I think it just happened. I wasn't paying attention. I think it just happened. That's crazy. We'll find out when the newspaper comes up at the uh, end of the month here. It will give us some very interesting updates. Oh wow, look at that. I have the availability to get a bunch of soldiers. So let's build some soldiers to defend my nation. Build some artillery. Yeah, some hussars. Build a Persian hussar. Why not, you know? Pashtun infantry. Oh, here we go. Punjabi, I don't know. Cursiers. Hussar, um, a young Tajik boy in Farazabad up here. He does not uh, insult officers. The Runt got what he deserved, or reprimand the officer. The uh, Runt got what he deserved. I should move him back to Kabul. There we go. Do I have any armies that are, uh, got the red? No, they don't. They're yellow. These guys are all from uh, Lahore. Crazy. What are the British doing now? Scotland Yard. Um, the Metropolitan Police Incorporated by the Act of 1829 became known as Scotland Yard. Cool. And the Treaty of London of 1864 where they gave the Ionian, Ionian Isles, I guess, back to Greece. I'd love to play through as Austria-Hungary, but forming Austria-Hungary is the biggest pain in the ass ever. Like, it's, I don't know. In this mod, it's more of a pain in the ass than it is in vanilla. That's all I'll say about it, just because I haven't tried. 
but I've read the the options, the decisions to do so, and it's a pain in the ass. So, Look at the Ottomans, still a civilized nation. They're the old, the sickly old man of Europe, I believe, is what they've been called. Imagine we conquered uh, Kashgar or Xinjiang, just a Sikh empire across it. That'd be cool. So we got our first regiments. Once they're all done, I'll put them into an army of sorts. So man, what's with the no newspapers? 1862 was the uh, the end of it. We just get nothing. Let's do a navy. Let's start doing a naval professionalism. I have to do culture. I have to do state and government and nationalism and imperialism if I want to do um, colonialization. Ooh, I'm up to number 11, secondary power, with the increase of my army size. Go here, let's send an Afghan group there. Oh, they annexed, they annexed Natal, which was one of these uh, nations here somewhere. I'd love to play as uh, South Africa. I colonize half of Africa. <laughs> that That would probably be pretty fun. play as like the Boers. That'd be pretty sweet actually. Maybe I'll try it out. I don't know. I might LP that because my Victoria Ultimate game is very slowly coming to an end. I think I'm only going to play until 2014 I think is the year I'm going to end it. So modern day roughly. And that's coming to a close very quickly. I'm already in like 1973, 74. So it's very close to being over. I only got what, 40 years? Not even? Maybe 50? So that'll be over soon. I gotta say, I've been having a lot of fun playing Victoria Ultimate. If you guys haven't watched that and you're watching this, you should go and check it out. That's an another awesome mod. I wish they would combine this mod and that mod, though. It would make a lot of sense for those two mods to uh, become one mod. Well, I mean, they should move the nations and the decisions to that mod. Um, I, I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> 1864 already. The Civil War still hasn't fired, or if it did, I hadn't noticed. Nope, there's still slavery. Uh-oh. Looks like the... The Ra Raja faction? Socialists are gaining power in my country, which is fine. I like socialists. Brunei. So it looks like uh, the Brits are going to just straight up annex all this stuff. Sure. I don't know what you're doing, but... The acquisition of Dutch Sarawak. Immediately after it was allied by the British. And it's Spain, Russia, the Netherlands, the Ottoman Empire, and Sweden... So they, they called in all their allies. I kind of want um, Vietnam. I want to move in and take it before the, uh, the French do. You know what I mean? But I need a navy. Because I'm not marching through like three countries. Will the British even give me military access if I ask for it? No. I'd literally have to send the Navy. Land troops in uh, Indochina. Maybe that's what I'll start doing. Let's 
let's build a navy. Let's build uh, some clipper transports. Watch my economy tank. Ready? Oh, maybe not. So what do we just... Do you need clipper convoys? That's it. How many is that? One, two, three, four, six, six, I think. Right? Seven. Okay. So I'll be able to move... I can move this army, actually. So let's go down there. I'll swap. Hmm, never mind. Disband that. I want to keep these somewhat at uh, the machine politics, man. Seek reactionaries. Whoa, I am now the 10th power in the world. I'm moving up, which means some people are starting to drop. Uh... Pressure the local government. My manufacturing score is god awful though. Okay, let's let's expand that, and let's expand that, and let's expand this one. I'm only expanding the ones that are full of workers. Oh, look at that. I'm making quite a bit of money. How much is this loan to repay? 800? I can do that. Los Rios. A crisis. The Argentinians. Oh, new elections of the Empire. Orderly election. Since the last election was violent as fuck, apparently. <laughs> Look at the Americans just controlling all that. It's crazy. No planned economy. Trying to figure out a way to fix this economy. It's never easy. Sure, what is, uh, we encourage jingoists, I guess. Why am I a god? Oh. There is really where it's coming from. Subsidies. Let's stop that, that, and that one. There we go. I'll do that. This one is losing money. I might tear this one down. How many? It's employing 2,000 people, though. Man, I'm losing a lot of people in that factory. Where are they all going, though? I don't know. It's fluctuating between Punjab and Sikh Amistar. So, I've got a new technology I can research. Let's just do romanticism. Let's go straight down the second line. Whoa. Planned economy. I want the socialist empire. Anything interesting going on in the world? Let's find out. No, wow. The Netherlands is just, they want it all. Spain's demanding northern Malaysia. Someone's already dropped out of the war, too. Who? Hmm? They're. These guys? Kutai? The second fleet, the first and second fleet, have uh, been built so we can get ready to invade Vietnam. 
because why not? Gain Indochina. Yeah, we're patriots. We'll fight. Holy crap, there's a lot of militancy. So much militancy. What do I have to own? I have to have the global flag, India call to union. And I have to own Go Goa Pondicherry. Damn, the fucking conservatives, one power again. Uh, yeah, we get the seek wins events, quote unquote. So I guess that's it. No newspapers for a while. We had them all the way up until April of 1862 and just no more. That's saddening, I suppose. Splendid news. The stock exchange is now open. So yeah, I think that's where I'll go next is Vietnam. Parts of Southeast Asia, maybe uh, Burma, a little piece of Burma, and uh, Vietnam. They're allied to Burma, we might end up fighting them anyway. If we can get the British to ally me. Oh, oh they rejected my military closer. Misclick, oh well. The Boshin War has begun between the Shogunate and uh, who else? Satsuma and the Tosa against the Chosu, the Kaga, the Sendai, the Yonozawa, and Imperial Japan. So they want to unite the nation. Usually, usually, um, Imperial Japan wins handily, actually. Because they're civilized and these guys are partially civilized. So that'll be that. Japan will be a... Uh, secondary power slash almost great nation in like a year the US still have not had the Civil War I guess they just can't bring themselves to do it fucking the Austrians need to move in and just take this shit back oh they don't have a claim on it at all that's crazy So, well, yeah, the world's really boring right now. Nothing really happening. Uh, apparently, the British are trying to get some of the Gold Coast, which is uh, over here. They're fighting uh, these guys, yeah. Which was... I don't know what country this ends up turning out to be. But they're over there. So, there's nothing really happening. I mean, just while I build my navy to prepare for this uh, war. I don't even think I can instigate such a war. Let me look. Let's go to justifying this war. Um, demand a concession area. Seven and a half. That bring me to 12. Give me 20. 22. No, I'll just wait. So, with that, I'll end it here. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out, and I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, stay tuned.